back. In this video, I want to show you an application of the um, random tools extension, which is right here. And the application has to do with these wind towers. Now, uh, let's assume <laughs> you want to plan a, uh, um, you know, a group of these and, and you uh, have a 3D model of these, these these towers, of course, and mine came from the um, extension warehouse, for example. And then when you paste them into your model, make a few copies, they all look the same. And nothing's less realistic than all of these blades pointing in the right direction or in the same direction. Ultimately, something like this is far more realistic. <clears throat> now, what if you have hundreds of these placed and you need to make them all look uh, different and um, you of course don't want to spend the time doing this by hand. So again, this is where the um, random tools extension comes in really handy and I'll show you right now how that works. So I'm just going to delete two of these copies. This particular model came from the um, 3D warehouse um, and uh, you can you know, just go there and basically search for wing tower and you should be able to find it. Now, I have it over here somewhere and there's there's the copy. Okay, so let's assume we have one copy and we're gonna prepare it now um, to be used for this. When it comes in, uh, same as any component or any element from the, from the 3D warehouse, it comes in as a component. So here's a component and when we go into it, you'll see that it was somewhat prepared nicely for us in that the blades and actually the rotor assembly um, is already grouped somehow or somehow put together. Now, it is a group and there's an issue with that. I'll show you that in a second, but that is helpful already. And then, of course, everything else comes in, separate groups and so on. And that's all good. Now. In order to be able to work with many copies, it's actually easier for me to explode this component so that I ultimately have these individual pieces and the, 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 the blades are accessible. So there's other ways you can, of course, access many of those, but this is one way to doing that. Okay, so now, if I have one copy here, another next and whatever um, and I want to rotate these blades I'm just going to show it on one right now because it's already going to give you the same issue um, then I would of course pick the group or component that I want to rotate <clears throat> and then I go to randomize objects from the random tools and then in there of course I don't want to scale things and I don't want to move things clearly and I want these to rotate about 360 degrees. You can actually have less and still make it look very realistic, of course. Now, when I do that and click OK, this happens, which is, of course, it rotates, but <laughs> it's not connected anymore. And that's, of course, not very useful. And no matter how many times I try this, it most probably doesn't get any better. <clears throat> What's the reason behind this? It's basically that Random Tools uses um, the center of the bounding box when we're working with a group. And so right now what we have here is a group, of course. And so the center of the bounding box is somewhere over here. Uh, you can kind of imagine the diagonals through there. That's about here. And then it tries to rotate about that um, point. Because for a group, uh, it's, it's not as easy as for a component to have a coordinate system. So that's why this doesn't work very well with this rotor assembly being a group. Now, how do we fix it? Well, we're going to just give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room here. I'm just going to hide a few things. And now I've got the assembly right here. And um, fortunate for me, <laughs> somebody actually put, left the axle in there. So I'm going to actually use that as my rotation point. Um, and now I just need to convert this to a uh, component. Now, since this is already grouped, it's easy to do that. I right click on it, click on make component, and then by default, you'll see that SketchUp, of course, just picks a corner point as the um, 
as the axis zero, which is not good because we need to have that axis right here in the center of the axle. Um, you could uh, click create and then change it afterwards, but fortunately, you know, in this creation process, you can set the component axis. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go right in. I'm going to see that I can catch this endpoint right here. And now, when I create this component, the zero point is right where I want it. So I'm going to say create. <clears throat> and just to double check, right here is my center. And that should get me where I want to go. So basically, I'm going to um, uh, 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 um, unhide things. Oops. Keep missing it. There. All right. So I'm going to um, go ahead <clears throat> and try the same exercise that I did earlier. Now, of course, when I highlight the, the blade assembly, it says component up here. And the uh, random uh, tool, randomize objects tool, of course, works on components just as well as, as um, groups. But now it will rotate about that axis. And I can repeat it as many times as I want to. It will be fine. Cool. OK, so that's step one, of course. Now we need to um, make a bunch of copies. Now you could, of course, uh, uh, regroup and so on. However, you know your workflow is easier. I'm just going to highlight this and make some copies. And then, like I said earlier, there's my problem, of course. They all look exactly the same, which is not what I want. I've just got to conveniently highlight all the rotors um, and apply the tool. Ta-da! Much more realistic. Now, whether this is just 10 or 100 or whatever, <laughs> you can very easily use this approach to make these look very realistic. Um, obviously, this applies to uh, similar cases where you need to rotate items. Um, and, and the secret of success always is that center point of that component. And the same, of course, with placing objects randomly. You always want to make sure that that center point makes sense for your application. But in case you find yourself <laughs> planning these wind towers, Here's the tool to make it easier.